5 Exciting Details About Netflix's Upcoming The Witcher Series Have you always felt like you're missing out on one of the most critically acclaimed video game series ever made? The Witcher by CD Projekt Red? There's no reason to be anxious anymore because, probably before this year's end, we will finally get to know more of Geralt of Rivia and the magic that envelops the continent. In this video, we'll dish out five of the most exciting details about Netflix's upcoming The Witcher TV series. Number 5. Development and Format of the Show A while back, the company Plattage Image, which provides the breathtaking cinematic scenes of The Witcher games, announced that they have plans to make a movie. The movie project evolved into a limited series, which they partnered with Netflix. In 2017, the streaming platform announced Lauren Schmidt Hisrich as its executive producer. Hisrich is known as the showrunner for shows like Parenthood and Daredevil. It was then announced that the upcoming live-action series will be comprised of eight episodes, at least for its first season. Filming kicked off last year in Hungary with the latest news indicating the production moving to the Canary Islands for some scenes. By the looks of things, it appears that Netflix likes the way things are going, judging from the purported news indicating that it has already greenlighted a second season of the show. Number 4. Cast and Crew September 2018, when it was announced that the Man of Steel himself, Henry Cavill, will play the lead role of Geralt in the Witcher TV series. The following month, the names of the rest of the cast members were revealed, and this include Freya Allen as Ciri, a runaway princess bestowed with the Elder Blood, and Anya Chalotra as the powerful sorceress, Yennefer of Venerberg, to mention a few. Interestingly, another relatively popular star will be joining the fray. According to reports, Ramilda Vane will headline the role of the Temerian sorceress, Triss Marigold. The actress has previously appeared in the Harry Potter films. Based on the books and in the game, Triss and Yennefer shared a complicated love affair with Geralt. It'll be interesting to find out how the show will play out their love triangle. The ensemble of supporting cast also include Jodie May as Queen Calanth, series grandma, Mimi Nediveni as Nilfgaardian sorceress Fringilla Vigo, Adam Levy as the highly skilled druid Mausak, Millie Brady as the Princess Renfrey, an outcast and many more. Number 3. The Story Over at Netflix, one can already find a placeholder synopsis of the upcoming show. The summary reads, The Witcher, Geralt, a mutated monster hunter, struggles to find his place in a world where people often prove more wicked than beasts. Co-executive producers Sean Daniel and Jason Brown offer more details of the story, which tells about Geralt meeting a powerful sorceress and a young princess with a dangerous secret which of course refers to Yennefer and Ciri, respectively. The trio will band together to fight for truth in a dangerous world. As also pointed out in reports, the plot for the Witcher TV series will be more grounded on Underzij Sapkowski's novel series of the same name. However, the first glimpse showing Cavill as the White Wolf somehow proves that the show won't necessarily veer away from how the character is shown in the games. For the benefit of those who don't know the novels or the games, the story happens in a realm that is simply called The Continent. In this fantasy world, native inhabitants like elves, dwarves, and gnomes have been subjugated by human settlers. In Geralt's time, the continent is divided into southern and northern kingdoms, and they are constantly at war with each other. Geralt, meanwhile, possesses superhuman strengths and skills which enable him to take down dangerous creatures roaming around the realm. Number 2. The Case of Leaked Scripts With so much excitement surrounding the show, it can't be helped that the show will be marred with controversies, one of which points out to leaked casting scripts for some of the key characters in the story. If you'd be so inclined, you can check them over at the Witcher's subreddit section. Going through the conversation, it appears that the show might get a higher age rating for some adult themes being used. Hisrich, however, classified last year that the leaked casting scripts won't be used in the series itself. So no spoilers there. And number 1. Tentative release date For as long as rumors go, it can't previously be pointed out when the show will come out on Netflix. A thing that doesn't necessarily surprise anyone. By far, the streaming service has been known to make 11th hour release date announcements on its shows. Sometimes they do it merely months, weeks, or days before the title shows up in the recently added section. 
but this time it's different. Netflix has revealed on the show's page that it'll be released sometime in 2019. This information was further corroborated by Hisrich on her Twitter page. Given that production had only commenced in October of last year, plus there'd be tons of post-production stuff to do after the shoot. A late 2019 launching window could be expected. Are you excited for the Witcher TV series? Sound off in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.